Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Friday, June 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still definitely think we're in an uptrend. I think we're either going up to make a wave C running flat, which would most likely go to the 123 or the 138, or we're going up to make an expanding flat, which would likely go up to the 178 or the 161.8. Either way, I think it's going to lead to a pretty big trend on the sort of time frames especially. Going down to the weekly time frame, I still think this is the end of a wave 2. That would make these 5 waves up right here, wave 1 of wave 3. That would make this a big WXY wave 2. And I still personally think that we are in a wave 3 in a, on these higher time frames, like the weekly and daily, it should continue to make higher highs and higher lows. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily, I'm still looking at this as a wave, well, the end of a crutch in here, but then this is a wave 1. This is a big ABC expanding flat wave two and we still have no break of structure or significant lower high telling us this wave three is over and if this really is a wave three on the weekly and monthly i honestly wouldn't be surprised if it just continued the uptrend because that's normally what happens when you're in a wave three especially at such a high time frame wave three so heading down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last push down because there's definitely a possibility that this push down was a wave A and that this is all just very corrective up wave B, it's definitely very overlapping so it definitely could be a wave B and that this is actually going to go down today for a wave C before it actually does continue the uptrend. Definitely, definitely a possibility that we need to keep in mind. Going down to the 1 hour time frame we have non-farm payroll news coming out today. Now based on what I see on the daily weekly and monthly the trend is up on all those higher time frames which tells me I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this thing just kept on trending up and it just kept on trending to the upside in a big old giant wave 3 on the weekly and the monthly now just based on Elliott wave I would think that this possibly was a wave A and this was what all very very overlapping like a wave B and that today's news actually would should cause it to go down for wave C so if I was doing Elliott wave count on this one hour time frame I definitely would kind of lead towards this going down for a big ABC correction, but because I realize this is a wave 3 on the much higher time frames, I actually think it's least likely that it is going to go down and do this. I just always try to keep my options open. I actually think it's more likely that today's non-farm payroll news is probably going to cause it to just keep on trending up because we are still in this big giant wave 3 on the weekly and monthly time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my daily live trading sessions. And you'd like to get access to all my swing trade setups. As always, thank you and happy trading.